Installing local web services. So we're going to take a look at a quick demonstration and example of how this can be done. First, you should create a new project. Name the project and point it to a WSDL or a WADL location. You can have it automatically create a test suite or a simulator of the service you like. This creates the basic test layout as seen in by expanding the tree and double clicking the request. You can see a stubbed out request with comments that help you fill it in. Fill in the blanks and click the green play button to watch it work. So it's really nice that you can click the raw tab for either the request or the response to get a full view of HTTP request. My experience has been that SOAP services often send critical error information in the HTTP headers and not the XML response, especially authentication issues. So this view allows you to track those errors down. Likewise, at the bottom of the screen, you can view full HTTP log, which can let you track the back and forth diagnostics. Thus, the request properties in the bottom left corner let you set things like authentication and encoding. And if you need even deeper detail, you can select the endpoint and press enter to bring up the interface viewer. Settings like authentication can be set at the endpoint level in the interface viewer or the individual request level, depending upon your needs. Interface viewer allows you to dig deep into the various data structures and types, messages and other service information exposed by the service. If your needs are slight, use the open source version of SOAP UI. But if you have more in-depth needs, spring for the pro version.